Hey, water signs, welcome to Queen Air Benetero. Today, we're going to do your general energy read for the week of December 16th through the 22nd. Keep in mind, these are general reads. They cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. If you need a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. In case you are new to this channel, I want to let you guys know I charged both decks with crystal organite pucks. In doing so, we charge and balance the energy of the decks. We also charge the decks on top of your personalized astrological sign card. So again, this reading is for Cancer. Pisces, and Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising People. I meditate. I'm an intuitive reader, so I meditate over the cards before I start the readings. I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I give you guys some messages that I pick up intuitively. When I was meditating over you guys reading, I heard the song, <laughs> Miss Fat Booty by Most Def. Now, I know that's going to sound very weird, but you guys, if you don't know the song, you need to put it into the um, search and listen to the song. And I'm saying this more so because the first thing she says on the hook of the song is, I know I can't afford this stuff. I'm not going to sing it. Trust me. You don't want me to do that right now. But you need to hear that. You need to listen to the song because first of all, the message that I picked up and I heard once I heard the song. In my head, I heard that this person can't afford you. They can't afford to keep you. And it's not only you who feel this way. This other person feels this way too. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who was trying to hold on to you um, through financial means. But there, it, it feels like there's an ending coming. I feel, I picked that up very strongly. Very strongly. I, I'm not even trying. Mm, wow, okay. So, at the bottom... <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. You guys, the last reading, you guys need to look at the last reading for you for the water signs. Okay? Because the very last reading that you guys had, you had the Queen of Swords too. It was an energy that you definitely were about to get ready to expose some truths that you found out about a person. And you were cutting this person out. And it's reappearing again. Okay? I shuffle the decks Every single time between readings, you guys are the third reading of the day. And I'm going to tell you right now, I did not even look at this. When I shuffled it, I just put the deck down. You've seen how I just picked it up off of the organite pucks. I didn't even look at it at all. This was the centering energy for your last reading. Okay. Like I said, somebody's about to get cut off. And it's so interesting because you see how she has this sword right here that's going up and it's like a sheen to it. Are you guys looking at this right here? You see how my Buddha... Candle holder has like this sheen, this light going up, and it looks kind of like this sore. If you look in the past readings, I just did a literally, I just finished the air sign readings like probably five minutes ago. No joke. This didn't look like that. When I did the fire sign reading, this didn't look like that. Do you see how this sheen from this looks just like this? And that's that's further confirmation. Somebody is about to get cut off. This energy has been going on for a while for the water signs. The water signs are fed up with a lot of stuff. I feel like you guys took a lot of stuff. <laughs> you have the eight of cups walking away. And it's cups water sign. This is you guys, okay? And then the, again, we have the queen of swords. But what I will say that I noticed about this is that the back, their backs are turned to each other. Okay, so that can mean two things. Either you were thinking about confronting somebody about something and decided not to. So you're walking away from telling this truth or with the moon being in this picture. This is still a secret. This person still doesn't know that you're getting ready to walk away from them. And it's very interesting because if I'm if you're getting this message and this relates to you and you relate to the last reading for the water signs that says that you're definitely in a state oh yeah you're definitely in a state of standstill <laughs> you see how the universe works you're definitely in a state of standstill you have the eight of cups in reverse and then you have the chariot in reverse the chariot is cancer card okay and then you have the cups you guys energy is all over this i'm not even pulling cards yet and the underlying energies is all in your energy field okay if the last reading, water sign reading, relate, you know, pertain to anything that you have going on in your life and you're seeing as now, you definitely decided not to walk away, at least for the moment. Because even though the chariot is in reverse, somebody's still in that chariot, right? It's something either you're digging and you're gonna and you're trying to have more information. 
Do you see how this is related? I'm not even looking at the cards. I'm just partnering so that I can shuffle. Okay. You either didn't walk away because something you're trying to add up a bigger case or you're just not ready to walk away. You're not ready to part ways with this person. Now, this time as we shuffled, you have the chariot upright and then you have the four of swords. With the four of swords, I'm always drawn to the fact that you have the three of swords hanging over the person's heart. So you're still dealing with, you're still holding on, still holding on to this heartbreak. And I always say with the sword at the bottom, with the hand getting ready to reach towards the sword, you feel like there's a little bit more fight in you. And you see how the chariot is looking towards this four of swords? No, you know what? Actually, yeah, she's looking towards the four of swords. I have to look at it. No, okay. Because I'm thinking about it the way I'm showing you guys and the way I'm facing it. No, she's looking away from this four of swords. I'm sorry. Because I'm looking at it through the camera, but it's not, you know, it's not appearing that way as the way I'm reading the cards, okay? She's looking away from that four of swords. So you're you're very, like I say, you're very indifferent about whether or not you're able to walk away from this person. Yeah. There's this a contemplative energy, like you're going back and forth in your mind. We're going to get two cards. One is a possible outcome and one, one is the general energy and one is the possible outcome. For our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, we have one card flip over. The Page of Swords, Reverse. Okay. And I also have to mention that when I was doing the shuffling, I seen... Um, okay, we have the Devil pop up in Reverse. And up under it, you have the Four of Wands in Reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. Those are underlying energies. I'm going to leave it over. They're not going to go in this main reading, but they're. I guarantee you they're going to tie into this reading. Most definitely. Um, I picked up, when I was shuffling, I seen the tower card. So like I said, there's, whether you're walking away willingly or the person's walking away willingly, there's going to be some type of breakdown in the relationship. Most definitely. And I know that because it keeps, this is, this is a reoccurring thing for you guys. And, and again, you have the four wands in reverse. Okay. And then you have the devil in reverse. Yeah, there, there's there's going to be, look at this. And I didn't even pay attention. And then you have the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck in reverse. The Seven of Swords in reverse, the Devil in reverse. And then we initially seen that um, the Queen of Swords, I'm telling you, you have come to a conclusion about, and look at that, as soon as I part the deck. Come on, y'all. You know, the energy that I'm picking up, the energy that I'm feeling, you are coming out of sleepless nights because this person, whoever you were dealing with, was a sneak. These energies together are never, there's nothing good about these energies together. Look at this energy together. I'm sorry, I'm sitting by my window. So if you hear music playing, you know, there's somebody with their um, music up outside. There's, there's definitely an energy where somebody, something is coming to an end. And somebody is fighting it. Both part, you or the other person, both could be fighting this ending. But it's going to happen because the universe is not. I'm going to tell you right now, with a lot of heavy energy like this, the universe can't, cannot support this. And the sheer fact that you're watching tarot lets me know that you're intuitively and spiritually, you, you are at a different vibration. Okay. If you did not, if you weren't at a different vibration where you want your life to progress in a positive manner and and you're looking for some type of change that is outside of the norm you wouldn't be watching tarot that's a guarantee so i'm telling you right now you're more spiritually inclined than most people for you to even be watching tarot so the fact that the matter that all of this is happening the way that it is 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 letting you know that you can hold on to it because there's fear and i know there's fear because you have the devil card here Okay, reverse the upright, it doesn't matter. The fact that the devil card here is here is letting me know that there's some fear attached to walking away from this situation. And I know that because you have the page of swords. You went from the queen to the page. Okay, and you have the page of swords in reverse. Upright, you know, the pages are young, new, and depending on the cards that they're surrounding, they're immature. This came of this page came in reverse next to the devil. So this is immature, right? This lets me know that there was some there will would have been or could have been some communication that was not thought through properly. And I know that because if you look at the floor, it looks like a um checker, chessboard. Somebody said something and, and it and they didn't make the right move. Okay, it wasn't the right 
words it wasn't the right time to say something and i know that because because it came up in reverse let's get two cards to clarify our page of swords and the devil card the energy is heavy i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna bs you about it but what i will say in hindsight is the fact that you have the queen of pentacles upright all of your cards came in reverse except for the queen of pentacles so if you are separating from a person i'm gonna tell you right now financially you're gonna be okay financially you're gonna walk out of this situation well off because you see how she has this pinnacle this large pinnacle on her hand she has this green cloak on and the greens and golds that's letting you know right now that's about money and finances and abundance okay i'm telling you right now you are well off and then also i'm gonna let you know as, as a means of spirit animals you have the peacock here in case you didn't know the peacock feather the eye the the decoration of peacock feather was in egypt it was denoted as the eye of uh, eye of protection okay like some type of eye of protection or all seeing eye you can't really see a wheel in the car but google and pull up a, a peacock eye a peacock feather okay because they were saying like this that it's an eye in egypt that's how they denoted it. that's how they tied the energy so when me saying that is to let you know like you're going to be protected because, you know, like I said, it's like the protection from evil eyes. So you're going to be protected throughout this transition. And that's a guarantee. Financially, you're going to be protected. Spiritually, you're going to be protected. So whatever is going on, you're holding on to something out of fear. Okay. But the universe isn't going to let you continue to hold on to that. And then look at that. Before I start to shuffle, look at that. what's at the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Swords again in reverse. And remember, initially, you had it upright when we first picked up the deck. I'm telling you guys right now, whatever it is that you are, because I, I know for a fact that you're, you're not saying something, you're not speaking on something that you know because you're trying to keep the peace for the moment, because you may be fearful of your finances. That's another reason why this pinnacle card showed up also, because you, and, and it's laying next to the devil card here. You are fearful about what this breakup or what this separation will do to your finances. But I can guarantee you, your money is going to be well. The home life came in reverse. There's not going to be a happy home life if you stay tied to this. It's in reverse. But your finances are going to be well. If you separate from somebody, you're going to be financially well. And that's a guarantee. I, I can guarantee you that. Oh, that one wanted to jump out. Justice. <laughs> what did i just say so the justice card is clarifying the page of swords you and this came up right every single card in your reading has come up in reverse except for the queen of pentacles and the justice card and this is right after i just sat here and told you you're going to be protected and you're going to you're going to be well off financially so if you're holding on to this person i don't feel like it's just about money i feel like you have memories with this person you have history and look at that okay in reverse okay your nine of cups popped up in reverse right and again this is cups this is you guys what a sign it's in reverse it popped up reverse every single card in this reading has popped up in reverse except for the justice and except for the queen of pentacles and even though these two were underlying overlying you would know how that applies energies they're not in your reading. Those are not your main two cards. They still, like I told you when I set them down, they're going to tie into this reading. Every single card in your main reading is in reverse, except for the Justice card. And again, I'm going to take notice of the fact that you see how this sword is up and you see how this light right here is shining. It's going up on the side of this card. I'm telling you, just, financially, you're going to be well. But if you're trying to hold on to this relationship out of... Thinking that you're going to be able to keep it together and you're going to be able to rebuild, that's that's not going to happen. And I hate to say it like that because nobody wants to hear that, but it's not going to happen. Your general energy is the page of swords. Your possible outcome is the devil. I'm holding them upright just so you can see the imagery, but they both came in reverse, okay? You're not speaking on something that you knew, some some information that you know about. You're not speaking on it. And it's actually more of a hindrance for you because... Like I said, this looks like a chessboard, checkerboard. That's your, you have the right to make that move. 
That's one way to look at it. But also the fact that it came up in reverse, it may also be a good thing because you're holding this to yourself and you're concealing this information because you want to have control over how things are moved around. Right? Your possible outcome being a devil. We know the devil, first of all, everything, every card has a specific reason, meaning, reason. But when you tie everything together with the cards that it comes with, this devil in this reading has let me know that there was some very toxic attachments. You are dealing with a very karmic situation, a karmic soulmate. Very, yeah, very. Because I'm the clarifying card for the devil was the nine of cups in reverse. I'm going to hold it upright for imagery, okay? You see how we know the devil is about gluttony. Look at him. He has all these cups of gluttonous. Gluttony, obsessiveness, um, being bound. And I'm being drawn to this curtain in the background, right? What's behind that curtain? I always say that when I see this. What's behind that curtain? What I'm also noticing in the justice card, there's a curtain behind this king, queen, ruler, or whomever. Okay, what's behind those curtains? You don't know. Or do you? With this chess, you know, I keep thinking about a game board with you being the person making those moves. There's something, there was a lot of lying and manipulation in this relationship with you and this person. And you were holding on with to this situation out of fear of lacking of finances. But like I said, these are your only cards that were upright in the whole reading. I would sincerely hope that you don't take this as a negative reading. It could feel like that because of the reversals. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you were concerned about your finances, it's going to work out in your favor. The justice card It's this is going to work out in your favor. You're going to have financial stability. Financially, you are going to walk away very well off. Property, money, assets, you're going to walk off very well off. And what I'm getting from this by the look of her face I feel like you know it. I feel like you know that you're going to walk off well off. But you see how she also has like a very subtle, like, I want to say it's, it's a very dull look on her face because it's like she still wanted this with this person. She still wanted this with this person. Keep in mind, this came in reverse too. You guys seen me pull the cards. I didn't choose anything. Whatever pops out, that's what I take. You still want this, but I feel like more so you want this so that you can maintain this, so that you can keep this. But whether or not you're in this relationship with this person, you're going to have the finances anyway. Right? You're, you're going to be victorious. That sword is up. And again, you had, you had the queen of swords and you had the page of swords. You got these sword cards right here. His sword is down. And the justice card, the sword is up. You're going to... I feel like eventually with this justice card being out, you're going to balance the skills and you're going to speak on what it is that you know. You're going to speak on what it is that you know. You're going to speak on what it is that you found out. You're going to you're going to divulge that um, information. And there's there's definitely going to be a separation in this situation, most definitely, because it was toxic. Like I said, the, the, every card has a positive and negative aspect and interpretation of it. But when you're looking at the cards that are surrounding it, because these were in reverse, but... Every single one of these cards were in reverse. All of these were in reverse. When you're looking at the cards that are surrounding it, and every single card, one of these cards were in reverse, okay? This is letting me know that, you know, there's going to be an ending, and it is strongly tied to family. It's strongly tied to family and living situations, okay? So water signs... Again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As always, I'm going to ask you to continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.